Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you for these moments. Thank you for this team. Thank you for this family. Lord, what a blessing each one of these people are to each one of these people. Lord, we are so thankful, so thankful of everything that you have provided for us on this tour, the blessings that you've bestowed on this, the voice that you've given Lauren, the talent that you've given these players. Lord, help for all that to be seen tonight as your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Look up, child. Bogged down by downcast eyes, looking down at bills, looking down at keyboards, looking down to mix drinks, looking down to count money and make trades. Look up to the flocks of geese in a perfect V. Look up to the gold yellow full moon. Look up to the ball of light glowing and warming. Look up to the twinkling of Orion's belt and the pretty little ladle in the sky. Look up and see. Look up and be. Look up and know the grandness, the beauty, the glory, the wonder, the pure creative bliss of life. Look up and know the great I am is talking to you. Asking you, begging you, waving flags and banners, each saying, Look up, child. Look up, child. Remember the last time we did this and we were like, let's put as much energy in the six shows that we were thought we were gonna miss. It was six shows, right? It was six. We thought we were gonna miss six shows. <laughs> then we thought we were gonna mix, miss six weeks of shows. So we were like, let's put all the energy into that. Well, now for the next 26 shows, we can put the, or the 562 days into, into those 26, 26 shows. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Think about the audience tonight, because like the audience, I mean, they have been waiting for a night yeah. filled of hope and joy, and to get together and to like have a big exhale, and we get to give them are an these exhale. Post, tonight. the postponed shows? Yeah, these are all post these were so these people so, have tickets for over two years. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. Yay. And we get to yeah. do that. Like we get to bring hope to this community. Yeah. Like that exciting. This is awesome. Fort Wayne for real this time. Fort Wayne for real this time. Are you ready? Come on. Two, three, four. Fort Wayne for real. When people ask you like um, about your songs, why you wrote them and stuff, and then they tell you what they mean to them, how does that make you feel? A lot of times you sit in a writing room and you say, God, is anything gonna happen with this song? Is anything gonna come about? Like, what is this gonna mean? And there's this beautiful thing that happens where he intersects purpose and time. And I, I can't create that, I can't cultivate that. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen in the next five years, but the Lord does. And somehow he allows a song to intersect someone's life right at the right moment. And here I am, you know, a couple years prior, just being like, God, please breathe into this song and let it mean something for somebody when I'm sitting in a writing room. So when you get the story of God doing that for someone's life based around you just writing, it's amazing. really interesting how the audience plays into the dynamic of a, of a show every night. You're the part that keeps me invigorated. And then what happens in that process is you start to see people's faces and you say, okay, God, what do you want to give to this room specifically? Like, what is it tonight that this, this audience might be needing? Or that someone, even one person, 
it says that he'll leave the 99 to go after the one. So sometimes he'll bring all of us into this room because he needs to talk to one person specifically. And so I just, I try to stay open and say, God, what is it that you want to bring into this room tonight? Because it might be different from the night before. If you have a dream, do not, do not grow weary. I promise, I promise if the Lord has placed that inside of you, if there is a fire in your bones that you wake up every single morning and it's the first thing you think about, it is not for nothing. and a reason why that is shoved up in your bones. And it's because there's something on the other side. Oh, I will rescue you. Hey guys, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you would, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> but seriously, subscribe. <laughs>